Yes, hello, this is the old man talking. And I've only put up like three videos this year. And the reason being, uh, amongst other things, that uh, I have a lot of videos that are already up. And they, uh, you know, pretty much tell my story. But uh, during this time, I've been impressed on me again how uh, for a bipolar, the thoughts of suicide are, you know, a real concern. As long as they're just thoughts, and you, you realize that it's those, uh, you know, receptors in your brain that block out all the good and happy thoughts and let all the black thoughts through, I... You could cope with it. I could cope with it by uh, the therapist increased my dose of and added a couple of new beds. So, yeah, you know, don't feel good, but don't feel that bad anyhow. But it got me thinking. I ha already have uh, a video up called uh, Suicide Thoughts that explains my own attempt at suicide when I was in my late 20s after I'd gotten out of the mental hospital for about uh, a year, die buds. It was a serious attempt. But thank goodness it, it didn't work. <laughs> and one of my tips is I started by, I bought my ether. That was my first step. Once you start the steps of planning, putting together what you need to kill yourself, there comes a calm, a calm over you. You feel much better because you've made up your mind to do something, you know. That's very dangerous. So my advice is, you know, don't buy a gun. Don't, uh, don't go to shooting practice. Don't go out on the bridge and look over the edge and gauge, you know, how you'll do it, whatever. Uh, don't take any preliminary steps at all towards suicide because that's kind of like a vortex that'll draw you in. Uh, sure, lots of times at night I'll lull myself to sleep thinking of ways to kill myself. Uh, those thoughts aren't really that dangerous in my experience. And one thing that kind of amuses me is that when I have those kind of thoughts, I'm thinking about, well, you know, when I'm dead, will the, my pet dog start eating my flesh? Or when I jump for that building that goes splat, will I just paralyze myself, but still, right? still not be dead. And uh, how will I look after I kill myself? I mean, the, it's silly to even think of that, but those thoughts come into your head. And while they do, right, while they do, while you're concerned, still concerned with those sort of things, you're pretty safe from <laughs> ever making an attempt. Most of the tips I see on suicide, you know, tells you uh, to think about your loved ones or realize how much you've accomplished and so on and so forth. That's bullshit, you know. When you're in that mind, you're not able to think about any of those things. Sure, your friends will miss you and so on, but you're not thinking about that. You're just thinking about the blackness in your head. You're not thinking about the fact that you have a relatively decent job, right, if you do, or that you have enough money or whatever. Uh, happy thoughts you're supposed to drive away the suicide thoughts with. It doesn't work. But just stay away from any preps. Realize that it's part of a mental illness. We know people who have achieved great things in their life who've committed suicide. So 
that tells us one thing, which is it's not that you didn't achieve something or other or that you did achieve something or other. It's a matter of the brain and the ability of those thoughts of self-worth to get to you. So you just think, boom, I'm terrible. I will always be terrible. I should end my life. Well, that's all. Not very cheery message today, but I feel it's an important one. So this is the old man talking, saying bye-bye.